Hey guys, Greg Denny. A lot of you know my story, but I was out on my own at, at 16 years old. And I, man, those were hard, hard years. And I was just struggling with insecurities and loneliness and discouragement, and depression, hopelessness, like just desperation. And I was hurting. And in that time, you know, you can imagine I was just a 16 year old kid, just like, just wanting happiness, just wanting life to be good, just, you know, uh, hurting under that load of, of frustration, knowing life, hoping life could be better, but still just stuck. And, you know, my parents had divorced around the time I was born, and there had been a couple of stepdads come and go, and, and, I, and I just seen broken marriages, and I wanted, like on the outside, I'm like, okay, I want, I want a family. I, I, I'm tired of being alone. I want friends. I want to, I'm looking forward. I dream about having a family of my own. But then, especially when I was out on my own, I was surrounded by families that just weren't working. And a lot of domestic violence and fighting and divorce and hurt. And like, it was just this big barrier, this fear of like, man, is it, is it even possible? You know, and, and, and inside, you guys, I, I, w I doubted myself. I wondered if, if I was even lovable, right? If, if I was worth loving, if, if I would ever be able to meet someone. And I was so shy and timid. <laughs> I was afraid to talk to people. Couldn't look anyone in the eye. And I, was, I was just terrified. And I wondered, man, will I ever learn to communicate? Will I ever get married? Is a great marriage even possible? Right? And it was this huge barrier, this massive obstacle of my own insecurities and fears, my own lack of self-confidence, and my, my doubts of if, if it's even possible. And so there I was, you know, as, as a teenage boy, it's like, gosh, does, does it even work? Is it even possible? And if it is possible, is it possible for me? And I wanted it so bad. Oh, I wanted it so bad. And so luckily I just started reading voraciously. And I started getting these new ideas, right? And I started finding out like, oh man, it is possible. And I'd, I'd meet a couple here and there and like, man, okay, it's for reals. This isn't a facade or a mask. Like they, they legitimately have a great marriage. It's possible. And I started to ask, like, I wonder if I could do this. I think I can, I just have to learn what I have to do. And so I started challenging myself. And I started working on myself. And had these discoveries, right? These big aha moments where I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can start talking to people. I can start making changes. I can become a new person. So I started working on those things. I started reading great books. I got a hold of, of this book. I think I was like 17 years old and somebody gave me a copy of How to Win Friends and Influence People. I started just diving through this like, yes, this is like the Bible of relationships, right? This is how to make things happen, how to improve myself. And so I started trying things. I started experimenting. I started going after it and saying, you know, I, I can do this. I can make these changes. And I started to get hope, you guys. And it literally like lit this fire in me like, I, I think there's hope. I, I think I can make this happen. And so I started doing it and then I started, you know, going on a few dates. It was kind of scary. And then, you know, getting into my early 20s, uh, I started dating more. I was becoming more confident. I was becoming more competent. I really started to change and I'm starting to feel like, okay, you know what? I can do this. And, and I can build some friends, I can build some relationships, I can, I can figure out how to get along with people. And I started building some great friendships, started having some great experiences, going on more and more dates, and I'm really starting to believe in myself and believe in the possibility. And then I met Rachel, and we started dating, we're going out like every day, and I'm like, this, this is it, this, we can make this happen. Like, I'm so thrilled, you guys are so happy. And so we got married and we were really clear about the kind of marriage we wanted to have. And, and we like, we literally wrote it out. We talked about it all the time while we were dating and while we were engaged, like, okay, what kind of life are we going to build? And, and, and this was kind of the second like barrier, the second wall. We, we looked around and everything around us and everything we understood at the time was like, okay, this is how you have a good marriage. And, and we, we were watching other couples and we were reading other books. And we're like, okay, this is it. And it was almost like this ceiling on, on what marriage is like. So we get married. We start our little life, you know, our little white picket fence, a couple kids, a couple dogs. And we're in this little world. And it was good. It, it literally was good. We had a good marriage. But we started to realize it was just kind of like, it was just okay. And, and we were living in this kind of this bubble in this world and not even knowing, you guys, that, that an extraordinary po marriage was possible. 
that there was another level. And so we're going along, we married, married a few years, you know, and we had our frustrations and, and, and we got into this kind of routine of like, I, I go to work and do my thing and she stays home with the kids and does her thing and, and we're kind of just living in this little space of, well, this is, this is our life and this is what marriage was like, right? We kind of settle in, we acquiesce to like, oh, I guess this is what marriage is like. And we talk to other couples and we look around like, yeah, that's marriage. And so we just thought, okay, this is what it's like. And it was good, it was good, but it's, it's okay, you know, going along. And then we got exposed to the new ideas, right? This new vehicle, this, this new possibility. And boom, right, this opportunity. And, and to move again beyond this, this barrier of like, well, this is the way things is, almost like this ceiling, right? And then once we realize that, again, the fear, the doubt, the concerns, like, oh my gosh, is this seriously possible? Is it crazy? Are we crazy? And we start telling other people about it, like, you guys are crazy. And, and we start with, like, no, we're gonna do this. Even if we have to do it alone, we're gonna, we're gonna hope, we're gonna dream. We wanted to live an extraordinary life together. And we realized that part of that, that piece was an extraordinary marriage. And we went for it, you guys. And we worked on it and we tried and we experimented and we took bold risks. And we tried new things and we tried being more vulnerable and more open and more authentic to connect even on a deeper level and to be totally honest with each other about our own weaknesses and our strengths and, and this willingness to say, okay, let's, let's be raw here and real. What do I need to change? What do you need to change? Can we do this? And if we do do this, can we get this reward of like literally building a extraordinary marriage? You guys, we've done it, okay? And we're still doing it, we're working all the time, but Rachel and I have seven kids now, 35 countries together, and, and this travel piece doesn't have to be a piece of an extraordinary marriage, but it's a piece of our extraordinary marriage because here's one of these elements. You have to be living an epic dream together. You gotta have something together that just lights that fire and is, is this piece that is risky and it's raw and it's vulnerable and it's scary and you're like going after something big and bold and it forces you to grow and push your own limits and then to do that together as a family. And you guys, I, oh, like we're there. We're living it. We're living our dream, right? We're living this extraordinary dream together. Like I'm, I'm recording this right now in Mexico as we're traveling down here with our family for several weeks. And you guys, I just wanna share that this is possible. It's possible to build an absolutely fantastic marriage and we wanna help you do it. In fact, we wanna help tens of thousands of families to do this and I hope you'll join us in this movement. I hope you'll share this video. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your neighbors, share it with people whose marriage are, are struggling, with people whose marriage are just kinda of okay, maybe they're flatlining, they're just, they're just kinda of coexisting or even people have good marriages but you say, you know what? It's possible to have an absolutely extraordinary marriage share this like join this movement with me so today you guys super excited stoked like we we've been helping couples all around the world so we, we do coaching and mentoring and and we have courses helping couples to build extraordinary marriages and extraordinary family life and so today is the first day of our nine day challenge and we'll have a piece in each each challenge uh we'll, we'll teach you give you stories the examples and things we've done experience ourselves to to move from where i was at the very beginning lonely and shy and broken timid and hurting wondering if it was even possible to having a good marriage to now building an extraordinary marriage so we're going to share those pieces okay so join us in this challenge nine day challenge starts today jump over to world school family on facebook Head over to the World School Family and watch our first video and the first challenge we give you. You go nine days, nine challenges to totally move, you know, transform your marriage from ordinary to extraordinary. Jump in this challenge, take it seriously, tag your spouse, get them in here, work on this together. And I promise if you'll do this, if you'll take this seriously, it'll, it'll move the needle. It'll make a difference in transforming your marriage. So here's to your new and exciting marriage and the possibility, you guys. The possibility, wherever you're at in your marriage, any level, wherever you're at, this will help you level up. And when our marriages are good, life is so good. So I want you to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe that it's possible. Even if right now you're the only one that's willing to work on it, be that one. If you make a difference, it'll make a difference in your marriage, I promise. So jump in, get in this challenge with us. Um, we've got a, we got a free PDF over there. You, you'll, you'll see the link in there. I'll put the link in here too. Jump in, start making this happen. It's worth every effort. The best investment you'll ever make is in yourself and in your marriage.
love you guys. Look forward to seeing you in, in, the, uh, in the challenge. We'll see you tomorrow. Reach upward.